Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the ninth podcast of the MindMakers podcast series. Um, I know it's been uh, two weeks since we came up with our last podcast, so my apologies for the week delay. But um, Sunanda had left us to go on a pleasure trip and oh go all goodness. around US <laughs> and explore. So, I mean, she had left us in Lurchies and warned us not I'd to do the podcast. I had abandoned you. I yes. had abandoned you. I had abandoned MindMakers. Yeah, and warned us not to do the podcast with her. So, and then nothing is scarier than having her seeing her angry so she, that is, she went on a sabbatical what's wrong Some, <laughs> she <laughs> went on a, I went no on a but she actually came back no, to, to reclaim privacy, to reclaim privacy. How, how do you <laughs> so do, 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 do you want to be the nominee of mind makers for and trust no. me we can't get you the, no, but that, would, that would mean you and me which is Sonia Gandhi and Manmohan Singh will be relegated to us so who is Sonia you are Sonia Gandhi I am Sonia I am Sonia I am Sonia I am Sonia I don't think I, I we thought, cannot I find thought at best uh, you would call me Ahmed Patel because of my Gujarati connection. Uh, we no. cannot find Manmohan Singh here. We cannot find. That's a problem with mind makers. We all speak too much. Uh, uh-huh. We all speak too much. I know. But I, how do you know I was, um, uh, you know, I was not there meeting. There were, a lot of people were missing this week, actually. Um, Putin was also missing this week. So how do you know I <laughs> so was So you're not comparing there? with Putin, yourself with Putin. I would rather be linked to Putin. Why would I be linked to Rah- Rahul Gandhi? Where did I say Rahul Gandhi? You see, guilty <laughs> <laughs> Guilty conscience. Maybe because is Rah- Rahul Gandhi went to St. Stephen's, right? Uh, he was admitted on a sports quota. Apparently, he had shot a balloon in a little <laughs> village fair in Amethi with a toy gun. Sunanda <laughs> knows all about Rahul Ji. We, we no, don't... No, I'm telling you, this is this is a story. Sh- Shashi Tharoor would have defended Rahul Baba so eloquently. He, uh, he already has. Sorry. He already has today. There is a long um, this thing. Of, but, anyway. but this is this is a fact that he actually <laughs> shot a balloon with a toy gun in a village mela and that is how he got admission in St. Stephen's on the so, sports but, 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 but this this week has been really interesting and or the last couple of weeks actually since we've been on a sabbatical and uh, or the podcast has been on a sabbatical but Rahul ji has gone out of action uh, not to be found uh, Misa ji Lalu ji's daughter was here in Harvard at the India Fest and she, she was found at the wrong place apparently <laughs> because she she, she said <laughs> that she was actually giving uh, her a lecture or like I don't know but speech. it was a photoshop or something or no, 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 no 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 from what I hear it was a selfie taken on the stage okay yeah it was a selfie actually we I remember some at, sources at, so. at, no 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 we have not at mind makers at mind makers we did receive the official communication mm-hmm. from the India conference at Harvard they did send us the information and the news release and the that she was not a part the of names, the speakers and the names of the speakers and everything we had received all that and I did did not see her name anywhere. So when the name, when the news came out that and it was Misa a very successful conference, you know, people spoke a lot. Uh, you know, some gave some interesting ideas, but this, <laughs> sadly, this also happened. And I mean, I didn't know. And the defense of the RJD spokesperson was even funnier than the whole incident. What itself. did he say? I, I, I mean, I forgot the exact words or something. I'll, I'll dig it down before we do. <laughs> but honestly, it's no. It probably was probably misunderstood by them. Miss Bharati. <laughs> Probably led to Misa Bharati yeah. and kind of, uh, you know, it was about India uh, conclave yeah. and all that. Uh, who knows? It's okay. But, but anyway, this, was, this has been an interesting uh-huh. uh, week for star children, yes. politically connected star, star children, children from Misa Bharati no, to I mean, Rahul Gandhi. I was so flattered that you probably called him a political star that, uh, or a political czar. I don't know what <laughs> you right. So that's there. And then there is also uh, Manmohan Singh being summoned by the CBI. So we'll be talking about, uh, you know, everyone is hoping that he'll speak. Uh, he'll speak. No, Oh, and, and also, just because we are talking about Manmohan Singh, that does not mean that we won't be speaking. We, we might be speaking excessively. So if you think that we are going to be relatively speaking relatively less than we usually do, I suggest turn off the podcast right now. We'll be speaking probably more than we normally do. <laughs> so, the, 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 the only problem I have in this... Uh... Uh, summoning and the case subsequently is that no but we'll discuss the specifics of the case when we get to the case ah, seg- segment okay, okay. so b- but just just giving an introduction of what happened and then there was Shri Shri Arvind Kejriwal you know who went uh, but who, he didn't visit Shri Shri na? Uh, no, he didn't no. visit ah, Shri Shri yes. there was another ashram he went, uh, yeah, he went ah, to, for ah, naturopathy he went to some Shri Jindal ashram ah, Shri, Shri Jindal 
कांग्रेस मार्चिंग बैंड और uh the the march that they undertook from uh, sonia ji's place i think they met in sonia ji's residence uh, then janpad and no then they i think there was another meeting point in uh, now defunct congress office uh-huh. and from there they uh, marched to ex so prime minister man mohan ji's house who was by that time waiting with gursharan ji outside uh-huh. in the porch to receive them to receive them it was it was quite funny actually from no, sonia ji i actually tweeted that. about this ki yaar itni सॉलिडारिटी तो जब वो प्राइम मिनिस्टर से तभी भी नहीं दिखाई थी आई थिंक एंड आई थिंक मनमोहन सिंह मस्ट हैव चोक्ड एट द शो ऑफ सपोर्ट द पोर गाय नेवर सॉ दैट एट लीस्ट इन हिज सेकंड टर्म ही डिडंट सी दैट यूपीए वन आई थिंक सोनिया एंड मनमोहन वर स्टिल अ काइंड ऑफ टीम यू नो अ फॉर्मिडेबल टीम सो टू स्पीक दे वर सॉर्ट ऑफ स्पीकिंग इन फ्रॉम द सेम व्हाटएवर देयर वाज दिस वन कम्युनिकेशन सोर्स but upa2 it completely unraveled i remember at the end of upa1 when they won the elections again in 2009 i remember political commentators were saying the biggest um victory for upa1 has been uh, the team of sonia and manmohan to see that unraveling completely in upa2 was quite interesting but the, the, actually that that idea see a, a lot of people in congress and i think sanjay baru writes about that in his book as well and a lot of people think they were divided as to who should get the credit of the victory should it be manmohan singh in 2009 in 2009 for his quote and quote pro uh, free market kind of image now i don't agree with that image mm. but the that's image what that was perceived and they got a good mandate mm. i mean there's no denying that they Or won the election was it because sonia won because of their narega and their focus 2009 the was more convincing than their 2000 no and you have to understand no this you know 2009 except for ahmedabad and bangalore congress won in all cities of india yeah, yeah. so you know you can't even say so that at that time they said it was a formidable team sonia looks after the political part of it and mm. manmohan looks after the government part of it it was only in upa 2 when everything started unraveling that the neither the government was looked at only the politics was looked at no not even that even that had messed up big time in 2 2011 yeah. you had the team and nothing then you had six ministers going to visit baba ramdev 24 hours later you had uh, poor but they started un- i know but unraveling started with two no, unraveling started no, with two i think their calculation all along was that and this is uh, cited off of the record also by majority of the people involved in the political economy of india even today is that development comes at a price hmm. how does a political party get funded so this is where the next judgment uh, or whatever observations that will come from this uh, case particularly which is not a strong case at that but it's a perception battle on one side and on the other side if there was any decision made against the national interest is what the court will decide um, here uh, in the next uh, few years mm-hmm. but at the same time the political economy and the kind of uh, uh, dynamics that were introduced after the 90s was whether there was uh, enough um, incentive for a, an industrialist or a business house to fund a pol- pol- particular political party and that is what this is uh, uh, getting unraveled is how uh, a 176000 crore uh, notional loss at that time, time. Not a now has yielded 200000 crores and how the public will perceive mm, right. where that at that point the auction had happened in fact companies had availed bank loans also right. yes yeah no, most of them are dead dead the main loans thing now. is this 200000 crores the states have a huge chunk in this money and a say in you know how this is going to go forward this is a fantastic but i have to ask you this thing on a lighter note i am amazed that there are people in congress who speak to you off the record yeah I, there are a lot of them and but, and which congress the us congress or the indian no, congress both, both side <laughs> <laughs> i'll tell you because uh the the old congress wala the the old uh, very smart politician type congress wala is also uh, completely disillusioned because 
a manmohan singh had only taken the responsibility of uh, taking the next step after uh, the um, second victory that mm-hmm. you were mentioning in uh, upa2 was to take india to the next level of making people understand what this political economy was mm-hmm. about he was lending his personal image which is still he has not benefited financially from this whole thing that is for sure but he was in the process of trying to explain and in this defeat now they like you're rightly saying nobody was going to own up the defeat Absolutely. nobody was going to come and explain mm-hmm. ki you know why would somebody come and uh, you know uh, low, uh, take the uh, coal block for lower auction yeah. he was but going to let... talk about this solidarity yeah. march which is what we had um, talked about initially that what did the solidarity march signify beyond um, some political images i, I mean fear. the tv images that we got i think the uh, solidarity march signified more than anything else that sonia is worried that's what i'm saying fear, fear. I, i i and i don't think you know there are speculations that will manmohan singh speak what all has happened fear about i don't think he'll turn a prover or anything it's not that's about not turning going to a prover happen. or something no it it is for the you know there is action on this front being taken and they are worried about the consequences of that action most the seeds people, of which have been sowed most in, people are of the opinion that the coal scam and 2g scam and all these scams together they all lead to ten janpath hmm. there is a unanimous opinion you know a lot of people feel that hmm. so when sonia comes in this um, solidarity ma- um, march and says that we are with manmohan and his uh, integrity is unimpeachable hmm. and all that stuff to me it shows that um, they are worried that we are not playing any formal games with, i mean there are there are no formal uh, communication channels open with the government anymore suddenly this bjp 2.0 is not a party where we can do deals mm-hmm. uh, or backroom deals or anything see no, so no, 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 this, this is this is that's an interesting thing to me i don't know whether right now you can you know draw any conclusions from uh, you know deals no deals stuff like that the only conclusion that i think that we should be drawing is that there is a palpable sense of unease in the congress party that the government is moving forward with investigations now wh- whom will this mud stick on whether it will be to the top leadership of the congress or the minions in the congress party that that which is what sonia break. would like sonia would like it to be on the no minions. but the thing so so you know that's that's the major and mm. it's not just this front there has been lots of fronts where they are facing issues mm. with there is the national herald case let's not forget about that whether you know the dates are being delayed and all and that. there is this um, whole Rah- um, robert wadra case you know those uh, uh, no, uh, i don't think they are worried <laughs> they are worried about the cases or the the, the standard uh, response to any case by any party is that you know we have got a new government that is trying to prove make a political point hence this is happening their biggest predicament is they, this whole um, drama about sabbatical and him coming back in a rejuvenated form was prepping him to come and take the take over the congress presidency in a new avatar which is being scripted right now that that the avatar was they will continue to be left off center but they will come a little bit closer to center that mm-hmm. is what rahul gandhi's new avatar was going to be which means they will on one side have the party talk exclusively on the land acquisition part uh, lend voice to the agitation mm-hmm. continue with the farmers and all that at the same time to try to convince the business houses also they would at one point or the other try to pass help pass certain legislation that yeah. was their whole uh, uh, political ploy right all of a sudden this thing happening uh, it has thrown them off guard and True. congress has a very yeah. innate uh, the congress cannot be underestimated so easily. no no they, cannot, they have a lot of politics them, left no, in them but, they but have a lot you, of politics left you also left have to admit that congress is a refusing to change with times okay yeah. that's a major thing now the congress that indira gandhi had and indira was a mass leader in the 80s after after they lost the 1977 elections and the efforts that were made by indira gandhi to revive the congress and win the 1980 elections you cannot even compare to what is happening right now 
and i don't even buy this nonsense floated by commentators that congress is the only party that can form as an opposition or effective opposition you can have effective oppositions in states as well in fact uh, you and i adit we spoke to uh, dr vinay sahastrabude in our interview right. um, for the mind interview that we did mm -hmm. and he had a very interesting thing when we asked him about the opposition that who do, does bjp think is an opposition and they say, he he did not name congress at all uh, or any other this thing because we had a are the new parties going to come up is are the new parties going to be the erstwhile left or um, this and he said no only the parties that have any credibility left will be standing as political parties anymore he did Absolutely. not say anything about congress. congress does not have any leg to stand on to question you know people on the, i mean you know scams and corruption and stuff like that no not i'm not that i'm saying if scams are found they should yeah. not be questioned i'm just saying that congress has a lot of skeletons in their cupboard also what this has done this march has done and no matter what they say it has completely dented manmohan singh's image um this case may be a weak one which a lot of um, you know people who have studied the case have uh, told me that this is a weak case and uh, manmohan might even get out of it because amongst the so many cases that could have been filed in um, coal scam this one is probably the weakest one but um, what it has done is completely dented uh, manmohan's image no matter what he says about history judging him he will be judged as someone who presided over the most corrupt cabinet and corrupt government of independent india no as dr swami would like whether he is going to be called the vibhishan of uh, indian politics or the dhritarashtra of indian <laughs> politics <laughs> this funny part is we don't know where rahul gandhi fits into either ramayan or mahabharat empathize with the, that predicament he is you know empathize because i think there is sparks of originality in him where i i think his his biggest problem has been that his overprotective mother and all of these experts that were there will would never have allowed him to make a little bit of political speech just case in point one that one speech he made about the lineage he comes from which actually uh, delivered the biggest uh, external affairs victory for india which is uh, the separation of east and west pakistan and the creation i would ha we'll have to give credit to that statement and that daring behind that statement that Uh, you are taking that line and taking an absolutely huge risk, uh, which is what uh, the other uh, people but, have always touted. He was, he was uh, only trying to uh, no, show that he's from the Gandhi family. No, no, that they're capable of taking that risk if it comes to that. No, but then no, you know, okay, is, this is the thing. Okay, if uh, you want to be so truthful about that, uh, I, I, I do not one. I mean, I condone the death of Rajiv Gandhi and Indira Gandhi. It was a horrendous thing. Okay, but let's not let's face it. Rajiv Gandhi's death was also because of the biggest external affairs blunder that India ever made. No, I'll tell you. Blunder, so no, bl so no. What I'm saying is, it's not just you know we, we can't just look at the good no, things. No, blunder is always blunder in continuity. Yeah, that it is not because of one. You know, for whatever it is worth, Rao has played a very big part in uh, the. post uh, indira gandhi uh, you know and also right. from the indira gandhi time frame till even narsimha rao time frame so there is several different aspects of it but what i am saying I'm why not I'm why not discounting the contributions of Rahul. Uh, why we no, know how much Rahul has done. What is funny is that Rahul Gandhi will not understand a line of what we are saying right now. <laughs> no, that is the strange part is whether he gets it or whether he wants to do something on his own in terms of uh, probably try, trying to veer the party towards a little bit of uh, not from left of center but come right in in center because they have a constituency. They, you they, are giving him more credit than he deserves. <laughs> i will tell you what is his problem is his problem is that he is um, saddled with this italian indian mother mm. who has too many expectations on him who thinks that he is not the only just, savior and he is not meant not for just public him, life not just her i'm sorry not just her 
all the minions around them you know oh rahul ji rahul ji rahul ji they've elevated him to you know crazy st- uh, status in the, yeah. the what i was un- no what is interesting is that after the defeat after the massive defeat where they won only 44 seats you would think that there would be some murmur of dissent you would think congress would split nothing like that happened why do you think no, is congress, that sonia con- like congress is an ecosystem see congress but don't, don't is... forget that congress has been splitting Cong- congressism is an ideology in itself no people don't talk about it congressism seeps down to bureaucracy seeps down to a lot of uh, your uh, uh, law and order mechanism yes. they have taken 30 40 years to kind of make the uh, party and the government and the country in their own image yeah you have you, you, but it's, and and this is a this, fa- is a problem. No, this is a failure of a lot of people also not to communicate that this is not the congress of nehru Yeah. I I Or used to call it a 125 year old party. Yes, it's a 125 year old party, but this is Congress. This is a version of Congress. I. You, when did, have, have when you did, ever when heard? By the way, when did Indian National? Why, when did Congress I become formally uh, INC again? No, when did no, no, it become no, 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 INC no. again? Uh, INC uh, probably mid uh, mid 70s mid or mid. 70s, yeah. No, the reason why I'm telling is, any has have you ever heard Rahul Gandhi talk about Dada Bhai Navroji? you know uh, others when oh, you talk about, no i'm say i don't even know if he knows who who dada bhai navroji is but <laughs> what i'm my point is don't my, be hard on the poor guy oh, come on uh, oh my god look at all you phoning people no, you no, know as as a young person because you know congress wants to saddle saddle him as the icon of the youth i refuse to accept him as a youth icon i don't my know. Pro- you know it is it's so, so no, but, sad that congress is trying to revive rahul's a he is lost or misplaced mm-hmm. we don't know which <laughs> congress is now trying to revive his political fortunes by saying that the government is snooping on him i don't know how you snoop in broad daylight by asking what is rahul gandhi's name and what is his shoe size and what what color clothes does he wear does he wear kurta pajama no no, no that is like a, 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 a no, no that like is that? like an inquiry every police department if you have to reissue passport if you have to follow certain protocols spg is not no, i will be very worried maybe, for maybe, india maybe, i will be very worried for no, no. india's spies if they snoop like This. No, no, they would. That no, is not I, snooping. Maybe this is Rahul Delhi. Gandhi did not understand that this is not snooping. No, <laughs> when people don't show up when the the person is not there, this was part of standard protocol yeah, that you yeah. know. Yeah, clearly, they, clearly. Uh, but but honestly, the f- okay, first step is not cut out for the job. I think some second people, step. No, no, no. Second step, you have. You, the the point is that congress readers want to elevate him it's either rahul or priyanka or anyone for them they cannot think beyond the gandhi family no from what i have heard they, everybody was ready to step down including sonia gandhi amit patel and manmohan singh in favor of a rejuvenated rahul congress coming your way in april that is what was that the is what was the plan, the plan yeah in the works and he was pre- preparing his own uh, ideology his own script and all that that is why he and, had gone away uh-huh, that he needed two months to come come and discuss with his uh, set of experts and all that. now this whole coal scam issue has put uh, every, everything in the spanner because a the whole pro- probable plan was that uh, the party would st- would stick with the farmers the the, the left of center yeah. usually voting population while rahul gandhi will appeal kind of like uh, you know you you become the enemy you know you're trying to learn are from you, narendra are you Mali. trying to say um, uh, because you come in with all this uh, information from sources huh. all the time yeah, you yeah. are saying that he did not no, it, he was, it going was to not become, a temper tantrum no, no, that he went away no, it was planned it was it was completely planned I he was, it was a temper tantrum no, no 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 his plan was to come back and become Uh, a mini modi in which modi uh, for whatever why did he have to go away to become mini modi could he not do it no in, this whole uh, massacre has to happen of all of these people in a public uh, display and, and he has to be away from yeah it. yeah he has to be away because then he parachutes and this is a typical script political script that yeah. happens when you are trying to get somebody back into the game the king has abdicated then the king's red carpet comes only when all the detractors so but, called but are, then again they don't know that the congress party also is in this dinner it thinks like just because it has gotten 44 seats or something the other side has stopped thinking about them yeah. there are plenty of counters going to be planned it's not like it's not like the bjp no they know they have only one and a half years of shelf life until the time bjp and nda gets their majority in, in the, the rajya sabha that yeah. is the only time they've yeah. got to play their pawns yeah and number 2 is that politically land acquisition bill has been a sticky uh, thing for bjp and nda they made certain amendments and now also they are not going to pass uh, with the support of the congress they have to go through the, the joint, joint session that's only. the only way to do it so uh, now again with this so the, the 
there are body blows that are happening on the Congress because of public perception, because of court cases, because of this change that they were going to implement was only going to happen in April mm -hmm. to this June time frame. My point the, is, and my counter to that is, even if it is um, what you were saying that was a, a script, premeditated script that he will go away and he'll come back after all the slaughter of all these people is done. My point is, he does not have the flair for politics. He cannot take over. No, but no. Even Sonia Gandhi was uh, said. Uh, it was said of the same thing in the nineties that she does no have no. See what this is nothing like rocket science. You know, it's just basically manipulating one person. No, uh, but but after times, but I tell you something. Moved, that, no, no, no. Times have that. changed. Nineties was a different era. Yeah. Okay. And two thousands. Okay. The amount With of every, public no, scrutiny also, that happens. Yeah. Everything. See, Sonia Gandhi was not even remotely scrutinized as much as. Uh, all so, also, no, 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 and, no, no. And you by have whom? to understand. By no, 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 listen to me. Sonia Gandhi. By, who? by, who? So, Sonia, by the media? No, by the media. By Indian media? Was, no, no, there was no media. social media like no, that. Social Achha, social no, media let me tell you. No, let me tell you another thing. No, let me tell you another thing. That Rahul, Sonia Gandhi was an element, unknown element. Okay, when she came into politics. Also, Rahul, also no, no, one second. Of... Rahul has become an element of ridicule. Exactly, no. that is the point. I Rahul has say. become an element of Sonia, ridicule. Sonia had shut herself no, no, no. after her husband's the maximum, death. I'll tell you, in the past 10 months, the maximum criticism about Narendra Modi have come from right-wing uh, people. But that is nothing that to do with Rahul. You cannot what take that. that no, that, that means your criticism that Are is there on the there social media. There is difference media. between criticism and there is difference between ridicule. No, I think what Pramod is saying is that um, uh, the, you know, whatever the criticism that you are saying does not exist. The social media criticism does not uh, mean anything. So social media uh, criticism not, comes up and comes I'm down. I am not just saying social media criticism is the only thing to judge from. I am saying that you have to add things up. This adds also, up to it's his... Not, it's not just social media um, criticism of Rahul Gandhi. Rahul Gandhi even in real life hasn't delivered anything okay, in his I'll 10 give, years no, I'll give you an example. Pramod, no, 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 let, let me give politics. you an example. Let me give you an example. You, you, are, you, I agree that you are thinking politics in the old sense. Rahul gave an interview to Arnab Goswami. Okay, without social media, also plenty of people whom I know who are not in social media, he became an object of ridicule. Not just that, not because just that. that. In, he hasn't won, and he has nothing to his credit since he was made tomorrow, me member tomorrow, parliament. Tomorrow, memory people's memory is short. I agree with tomorrow, you. Tomorrow, he will give a scintillating interview to Barkatat or somebody else mm. uh, or some, you know some other media personality. It will be a super hit. You will balance out these two. Tomorrow, he will do a big agitation uh, against the land acquisition bill. Get uh, he water, tried to do but uh, water, water, uh, water, water, water cannon. He, 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 he gets were none. No, he gets injured. All of a sudden, public perception changes. No, I am not denying that. I am not denying. But you cannot think about future and do uh, plan for the present. You have to play or you have to do your politics, you know, regarding the present situation. And the present situation is, I don't see any signs of Rahul Gandhi trying to lead the Congress in the different directions or himself having any vision. I don't, see, the, I don't see Rahul Gandhi and, bouncing and, back at and all. Yeah, you have to it. understand whom is he getting his vision from. You know, he has this select bunch of advisors Dig who Vijay advise Singh. him. You know, I don't know, Digvijay Singh, Madhusudan Mistri. I, for, for like five, Kanishka, year, for five the, years the ago, guy yeah, five years ago, somebody was joking that Congress does not have a leader in Gujarat, right? So Jayanti Natarajan or someone on TV said that, it, you know, we have Madhusudan Mistri and others. So <laughs> journalist was like, exactly my point. So, in, in, <laughs> politics, is, in politics, the standard rule applicable by majority of the politicians is uh, once you have a mentor, once you are in power, you become exactly again, uh, opposite of the mentor. Yes, no, that, that, before that's we that's the I think, I think we are just unnecessarily complicating this. Rahul is just somebody who has no interest in politics. He does not understand politics. He does not want to do anything with public no. life. He is now and the fourth things. generation Nehru Gandhi. He yeah. No, no, no. But just... that, that, no, two things, two things. The first thing, when you talk about mentorship and giving him a time to rise in politics, he, he has been in politics for 10 years. Okay. The, he has been, they were ready to make him a leader five years ago. Yeah. Okay. Or six years ago, since two, after 2009 victory, you know, UP may a karenge, wo karenge. The problem is he is not willing to go out and slog it out when, you know, you have to toughen it out. 
नरेंद्र मोदी डिड नॉट जस्ट बिकम अ प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया लाइक दैट ही सेप्टेम्बर टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन से एंड से उसने कैंपेन शुरू की एंड देन इट्स बीन लाइक ऑलमोस्ट वॉट वन ईयर वेरी क्रिस क्रॉस द होल लेंथ एंड ब्रेथ ऑफ द कंट्री एंड इट्स नॉट लाइक यू नो ही वॉज जस्ट गिविंग रैलीज एंड स्टफ इट्स ऑल्सो वॉट मैसेज वॉज ही गिविंग एक्जैक्टली राहुल गांधी इज एब्सोलूट नथिंग टू शो सी आज का इंडिया ऐसा नहीं है कि यू कम इन विदाउट एनी ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड बिहाइंड एंड नो जीरो एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव एक्सपीरियंस जीरो विजन ऑल ही टॉक्ट अबाउट इन द इंटरव्यू वॉज वुमन एम्पावरमेंट एंड सम ब्लडी अदर थिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ अर्नब गोस्वामी आई डोट जीरो कॉन्क्रीट सजेशन लाइक and not a thing how how do you think he's going to be the the you he you're is forget- not but, even like his father he is not even rajiv gandhi who was also a very and, reluctant politician but he still and rajiv know, gandhi was still you know who we vice president tha kuch congress yeah. he was also thing. see he was also an indian airlines pilot with no specific political knowledge the, in fact in this Are family the only person with india of with... the 80s is not india of the 2000s now there is lot of india of the 80s is is, is not uh, you know you have to wo bhi uh, wo, wo time alag tha and there was an aura about the gandhi family which that, is aura has completely been shattered with every subsequent uh, decade that aura has diminished so what my grandfather probably felt for nehru gandhi family my mother did not feel the same and now i don't feel the same and the next you know, can i give a simple example to wrap it up okay most people who grew up in the 60s 70s or 80s they say congress is the natural party of governance now i i am born in 1989 right i have seen bjp as much in power from 90 you know 98 to 2004 those were my formative years i was you know 10 to 15 congress is not for me i thought atal bihari vajpay you know bjp was the different party of governance uske baad congress came 10 years and now we are seeing bjp again yeah. so for somebody who has not grown narsimha rao was the prime minister you know when i started understanding that who is the prime minister mm-hmm. from 91 to 96 so i have not seen that old gandhi family of you know functioning gandhi gandhi family in power except for 10 years of my life so i'll spend i think i will just uh, do the uh, unimaginable uh, here and i am going to say that i agree with sagrika ghosh that he rahul gandhi is the bahadur shah zafar of the <laughs> nehru gandhi parivar Mind except you. except bahadur shah zafar wrote some beautiful poetry that i like and uh-huh. rahul gandhi rahul not also, rahul, no, also. rahul also gives us some moments of hilarity so why why, why, no, why no, no no bahadur shah zafar wrote some very poignant poetry yeah. but um, no i think he still has a chance my 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 political observation is in fact india that's, is um, a country where left of center politics has it will take another 10 to 15 years for it to come out and become a completely market does he have a chance to become the prime minister of india yeah possibly I, I i i as long as left of center politics remains in india with trade union mentality and economy that is such a large economy with uh, a, a working pop- population a farming community there is always a chance for somebody i'm not saying rahul gandhi but somebody to lead that left of center at, politics which, which brings he, me to he has no, 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 but, but at, at great peril i'm going to disagree with you on that although we agreed in 2010 5 years ago me and you were the only ones probably and probably sunanda shouting from the rooftops that don't write bjp out we could have not imagined that in 2014 bjp would come up with 282 no, seats no i'm not saying i'm saying next 25 years as long as no. modi and this right of center bjp remains mm. i'm talking he's 44 no I'm yeah. saying he could become prime minister at a ripe age of 70. No, why do you think <laughs> why do you think congress cannot find another leader? No, then he will give up all of his property and then he will be naturally uh, you know <laughs> such a uh, you know <laughs> sympathetic ki aapki baar rahul <laughs> rahul <laughs> baba <laughs> in 25. You, you you will be around uh, you will be uh, you will be about what 55 prime ministerial at, age at, 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 years. No, but the thing is that at at 70 he will um, be the youth icon. He'll be the youth that. icon. He'll be no. the youth icon. No, it's icon. it's it's the we'll uh, bane of a large country mm. with 1.2 billion people in the next 2 2025 uh-huh. years the our generation which is uh, you know the th- below 35 the democratic dividend certainly looks to the bjp uh, yeah. much more positively than ever before and yes. with the prime minister like modi i don't think anybody has a chance mm-hmm. but if you give me one out of 100 i still give rahul gandhi a chance if he continues with this left of center hangover Okay. My, the thing is, he's confused. That's that's what my position is. If unless and until he doesn't have an ideology or what the hell he wants to do, I, nothing. Yeah, gonna I think promote trying to give him the left of center aura is a little far. Uh, and and let me let me end on this note. What I, you don't I, like I, me doing comedy or what? I, <laughs> <laughs>
I love you doing I love you doing comedy but let me tell you on a lighter note um, I don't even think Narendra Modi spent so much time discussing about Rahul Gandhi like how much we have spent today yeah. so <laughs> no, even a potential adversit- adversary adversary you have to rip that no, no, I know I know absolutely and you can never never underestimate your opposition no. congress did that and look where it is right now that brings me to the point of uh, Arvind Kejriwal the underestimation they of underest- the opposition <laughs> the, uh, they underestimated him in the, peren- uh, the party perennially in opposition yes. Aam Aadmi Party Aam Aadmi. they so, either oppose the, the governing party or themselves no no, or, no 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 they first oppose uh, government then they oppose the opposition then they start opposing no themselves. but one but is what? natural party of governance one is unnatural party of governance this is naturopathic pa- <laughs> party, party of, of governance that is the line of the day <laughs> that is the line exactly that is the line of the day party of governance <laughs> but what was up with everyone um putin was lost mm-hmm. rahul he has now been found rahul is still lost mm-hmm. and um uh, kejriwal had just taken off to singing. bangalore he was he was doing some no this is know. political ploy they will all kiss and make up and no, uh, i think their national executive you, remember mm-hmm. what when we said that manish sisodia is the de facto chief minister ah. of delhi you saw that in 10 days ah. although he is a disaster as the ch- i don't know chief minister ka to mujhe pata nahi because it's too early to judge yeah. but as a party in charge or something he was a disaster. but here is what i want to say that congress and bjp and all other political parties i can agree with them i can disagree with them they are all political parties aam aadmi party is not even a political party they are just a i i, I don't know what they are they have no political yes. sense what they are i just want to understand which party does this reminds me of stalin's russia which party snoops on each other I mean all of them are constantly snooping no, each other my, my all of them are favorite term my favorite term was when kejriwal was talking about hot trading and stuff like that was political realignment no no that was ashish khetha I, i know ashish khetha I know. this is amazing i mean i have to give them credit for like pulling terms out of their i don't know hat or no, something it wasn't khetha a fan brand uh, uh, <laughs> yes it is if you yes, remember yes, sanjay yes, i think yes, yes. khetha fan yeah, khetan. so he, this is a big boys fan club <laughs> of arvind kej rival uh, you know saint yeah, yeah. and what is happening over a period of time is the unraveling of what uh, we have been observing for a long time is their lack of political ideology and no uh, and it is not a positive force in india's polity even congress has some positive influence even samajwadi party has uh, some con- positive influence uh, even uh, baspa has some um, positive influence aam aadmi party has none it is it i it have has, I, it has changed indian political discourse for worse no and i mean it's not like there are uh, there are fan there were fan boys of aam aadmi party creeping up from everywhere on the day results came out you know yeah. some some from very close quarters quarters to around me and i mean i was shocked at the u turns <laughs> they took uh, they were quiet after april 2014 but suddenly they found virtue in arvind kejriwal no but i have seen i have seen personality oriented parties like mayawati's uh, bahujan samaj party i have seen all this but i have never seen anybody recording each other's conversations i have never reco- seen anybody stinging on each other what kind of politics are they bringing to india I, it's just terrible i think what uh, uh, delhi has learned really quickly in uh, one month and of which 10 days uh, their chief minister has gone on leave mm. is that uh, no matter what happens delhi is uh, a city that is under the union government uh, for all practical purposes and the real uh, rulers of the uh, civic administration are the three municipal corporations mm. and they will quickly learn that the this replication of aap success is near Which impossible brings me to the million dollar question uh, we have uh, our our new studios have had a lot of fan boys of uh, and you know fan girls as well i mean i mean it in the nicest possible way of our fans of aam aadmi party will go with that fans of aam aadmi party uh, who were basically previously congress walas who right. went to aam aadmi party because they saw no hope in congress what do you think whom will they support now no i think uh, they will continue Because with that Because i saw a couple of journalists saying oh you have to understand arvind no, kejriwal no. is playing politics the, you know kya what politics is he playing i have no idea no, they ma- apparently know and they are commenting no, no mainstream liberal media will cover it up they have done a good job they have uh, stopped uh, you know uh, putting the mic on the face of aam aadmi party supporters right now they are all waiting for uh, prashant bhushan and uh, um, yogendra yadav to kind of uh, come but together but with the criticism of social media and the social media still kept up the ante no they they keep, they only will keep it up only social media but in 3 months social media will forget but i'll tell you so. i'll tell you why uh, because uh, uh, you know he will start 
uh, becoming the anti-corruption crusader. He'll pick up the uh, the sweeper. He'll pick up the janitor. He'll pick up somebody else, and they will say that we have been, uh, you know, uh, ch- this is a churning of internal democracy. We have discussed and debated. Yeah. yeah, sure, we went to the media, but you know, uh, we are very different uh, in terms of you know, no corruption had happened. So all of this is just infighting. Infighting is not bad. And now your term is political realignment. So, but but this, this, that that also depends on how much damage Yadav and Prashant Bhushan can do. Or you think they will not do any damage? No, no, it is a game. Okay. No, it's, it's a game. No, and yeah. exactly. That's what I want to come to you guys for closing comments on. You know, that what 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 is the end result of this game? And what does this mean in the future for Delhi politics? But yeah, before before we uh, get to closing comments, uh, uh, you can follow us on Twitter at, uh, at M-Y-I-N-D-M-A-K-E-R-S. Uh, you can like our Facebook page, again, M-Y-I-N-D-M-A-K-E-R-S. The links to our Twitter, and fa- Twitter handle and Facebook page are on our website. Please visit www.myind.net for uh, more articles uh, podcasts and uh, interviews um, my you can also follow us on our personal twitter handle i tweet at, at ask0704 uh, sunanda tweets at, at s-u-n-a-n-d-a v-a-s-h-i-s-h-t and promote tweets at, at P-B-U-R-A-V-A-I. Um, uh, please keep uh, connect, stay connected with us. Please give, keep us giving your feedback on it, and you know, let let us know if there is any other topic that you guys want us to cover. So before before we end today, closing comments from what Manmohan, does this mean for Delhi's politics? Uh, Ma- oh, I thought Manmohan Singh. Um, Arvind Kejriwal has uh, spurned away the middle class voter again that has uh-huh. uh, that he was going to bank on in these urban areas next uh, phase was to contest mm-hmm. in Punjab and another other uh, you, but Punjab to... they are getting good crowds in the rallies so it's yeah. too easy to write away the you know to write them off in Punjab I don't think we should too early Punjab again. is a different story we have to do a podcast on Punjab and we'll do yeah. we'll, we'll do, do a podcast we have some, on Punjab several there are experts several on Punjab so, there yeah. are several issues in Punjab that need to be tackled separately hmm, hmm. but we'll talk about that but Punjab will remain a challenge for BJP unless they do something about it quickly no and generally speaking Arvind Kejriwal has lost the sheen so quickly which is uh, surprising because of all these games Pub, uh, playing out in the uh, public space mm. uh, what that has done is that uh, the the whole uh, uh, make an acquisition and uh, go away that kind of uh, uh, tag uh, mm. will spur kind of uh, spawn the middle class voters away mm. but also the kind of uh, the the media dealings of uh, you know passing on some tapes and all that it all it also gives a, a kind of an impression that these guys basically want to be constantly in the limelight and they feel that by by being there and being uh, in the yeah. media also will, just will, because it worked be, once they're, they're uh, too just hungry because, for uh, no, also just because it worked once they, doesn't mean it will work all the and time as, as and they, um, you know Arvind Kejriwal came and apologized once that oh I abandoned you and he thinks that every time he'll come back and he'll apologize yeah. now as, as the cliche before. goes those who die live by the media die by the media those who live by the sting stings die, die by, by the, the stings. stings so on that note you know if anything uh, any any more news come up or something we'll we, you know we'll be discussing them you'll be hearing our opinions hope we find podcast. Rahul by the next podcast I'm Hopefully, worried for him yes we should I, I, I'm, I'm fearful that we might do our podcast earlier than they might find Rahul uh, but anyways if if anything does happen on that that aspect Rahul any please other aspect, come back everything yeah. forgiven if you're hearing this podcast uh-huh, please Sunanda come is back. appealing you in her probably <laughs> nicest tone I, I know. she never appeals to us in this nice tone I but know. anyways but come back or everything uh-huh. is forgiven so, so if anything, even Putin is back <laughs> whatever happens in the news you You'll, you'll be hearing our opinions, our take on it right here. Do keep tuning in. Keep keep your comments and give us your feedback. Uh, till the next. But any podcast. no advice for Manmohan Singh? No advice for Manmohan Singh. Yeah. He's you, so now after Manmohan, Delhi politics, Manmohan you want to talk about Delhi politics? Richly deserves the rich desserts. <laughs> Rich, richly deserves the rich desserts. Okay. On that sweet note, we'll end the podcast today. We do look, do keep logging in. Uh, check out our website uh, and our uh, social media handles. We will uh, see you guys in a week with podcast 10.0. Thank you.